Um, first off, welcome to the next episode of Agrarian Skies. As always, I'm Thor Kane. Um, yeah, I just tried to record for about seven minutes, turned in a couple of quests, talked a little bit about some stuff. Uh, one of the big things, it's been a month since I last recorded, and the biggest reason for that is I've just been busy. Um, I've played a little bit. Uh, the big thing I've done is I've got myself up to Imperials, pure Imperials. So my bee breeding is kind of moving along. Um, I had a, uh, let me uh, get landed. I was going through here. I've got the milk. Um, I was going to try looking at the uh, precision shears, but it's when I noticed that my clock at the top is not running. So not cool for the hoarding. Nothing, nothing. Uh, bees and trees, I'll be there in a minute. Uh, so I got the Three Mile Island. I got a uh, furnace over here turning charcoal into the graphite bars. I've uh, been gaining eulorium for a little while. And I was, or I chose the uh, plutonium as a reward. Um, my uh, drill is producing pretty well and everything else it's making lots of. Um, I want to come here. I will go ahead and deposit that. I want to go ahead and use that. Got a couple of hearts that I want to go ahead and deposit. I'm going to hold on to that. I need that in a minute. And that. And the two of you can go back. And got a lot of steam turbines. Don't need you. All right. So, um, what was it? Mess? For the hoarding? I think for the hoarding sorts at. Manual submit, got them all. Uh, don't think I'll do the laser drill stuff. Endothermic pump, so I'm gonna injure quarry. I'm gonna go with reward bag. Claim and reward. All right, heart. I did die a couple of times. I uh, jumped over into the nether and died. That's why I had to make a leadstone jetpack to complete the uh, to complete the uh, up up and away um, wanted to regain my stuff real quick all right so come in here got a couple of improvement update style things I want to show you guys. But first off, let's do this. Dump you. I'm gonna put the angel quarry in there. Come on, be a good bag. Yay. Not what I want. If I could get lily pads, that'd be great. So let's go try the epic. All right, um, those can be good. Let's go ahead and put them into storage right now. Full, and you should be able to take them. Um, one of the things I want to show you is I finally got a shovel with that I can put silk touch on. I brought it over here, or brought a, a hunk of grass over, and now I've got a place where I can easily farm grass and not worry about it. Uh, the reason for that is so I can get the uh, shards. 
the uh, the green shards, I think it is. Um, where was I? Uh, nothing in Hell's Kitchen. Bees and trees. Guess I'm in bees and trees now. Go with the flow. Got the milk one completed. That's where I was. I, and I wanted to see the precision shears. I'll be right back. Had to look up how to get the NEI back up. I need to remember O. Outside of the uh, text block. So, precision shears. Extra utilities. Uh, in addition to acting as shears, precision shears can harvest any block that a stone tool can. If you sneak and right click a valid block, it will be instantaneously broken and placed directly into the player's inventory if there is room. And to make it, ooh, unstable. Uh, let's go to the reward or the last reward bag. All right. Yay! File of essence. Well, it's a good thing that we're close to this area. Um. Why not? So that's kind of nice. Three heart canisters. Now I can take twice as much of this. Alright. So, back to the B stuff. Um... As far as the bees go, where bees and trees open, I need a honey or sixteen honey drops. Do I have them on me? Yes. So manual submit, and nothing too f rewarding. Um, genetic manipulation machine. I've created most of them on the ledge. Over here. That's probably not going to be their final location, but yeah, whatever. Uh, one of the things that we need is this B receptacle. Uh, and that one's going with this stuff. But for what we just looked at, we want. What is that? How do you spell inoculator again? I N O. I N O C. Um, I will admit I am a horrible. Sp ah, that's right. So one of the other things that we need is what is it? That and. So I've got plenty of glass. Got plenty of clear glass. And a assortment of other glasses. I'm not horribly worried about glass too much anymore. Alright. Let's try it this way. And I thought that was how it was supposed to be made. So e and I'll see inoculator. Ah, gold. That suddenly makes these things expensive. I mean, it's not like I've got gold to spare. And I know I'm going to need a number of these things, so might as well just do this. 
There's eight of those things. And that gives me some working room with them. And let's rebuild this. I just need one inoculator, thankfully. But it works for the right stuff. Uh, so now there's that. And I can claim the reward. Ooh. Some nice stuff. Let's see how... I don't want to wander too far, so bees, butterfly. And I'm going to hold on to you. I've got two greater bags. So, number one. Hey, more steadfast. Flush golem, all right. I don't know that I can use him at the moment, but it's always good to have him. Sure. Um, along with the bee stuff, like I said, we needed to create this bee receptacle. And we are going to fight our way through getting some of this stuff placed. So, industrial apiary. I'm not entirely sure how these things work, but I do know that uh, bees can be moved in and out of apiaries with item ducts. Once you get to the point of mass production, though, you may want better production. Industrial apiaries can be customized to make your bees happy through the use of various upgrades. Industrial apiaries require RF power, but take up less space. Both AE and item ducts can also be used on the industrial apiaries. A task where the player needs specific items, these do not have to be handed in. Having them in one inventory is enough. So. And again, blah 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 blah, go with you, claim, drop off. Some extra hearts. And for now, reward back. Oh, you're a greater. Ooh, another fish. I haven't gotten into the mariculture. I haven't seen a major need for it. But, pardon me just a moment. All right, sorry, I had to cough for a moment. Um, let's see, where were we? Just finished that. All right, now we're into the alviaries. A task where the player can hand in items or fluids. One can also be used to... One can also use the quest delivery system to submit items and fluids. So alviary, alviary fan, Alviary, alviary heater, alviary lighting, and frame housing. I've got one of those and one of those, so I just need to make those two. I'm pretty certain there's going to be some other stuff I need to build before then. And I get some alviaries in return, and I think I've got tropical bees. Uh, alviaries. Traditional beekeeping uses massive blocks called alviaries to encourage bee production and breeding. Different blocks can be added to alviaries to make the bees work all day and night and in all weather conditions. You can even convince them they live in a different climate. So that's kind of cool. Uh, genetic control. Uh, Gendistry and extra bees adds machines that can be used to remove genes from one bee and inject them into another bee. You cannot select which gene you will get when you, when pulling genes off of. Both mods will eat bees to produce the genes for manipulations, so it is best to wait until you have excess drones to use for the genes. So, gene sampler and, or genetic sampler and genetic imprinter. And, ooh, another indexer and... 
Ooh, Valiant Bees. I know those things are useful. I don't remember why, but I think it's just in really another step in the cog. Um, that's probably not too hard. Uh, I don't know why the next looking tree thing is so far down. Or am I missing something to really get into the tree stuff? But I've got trees that are over there just doing stuff. A grafter. We can get a, a one made out of bronze. We can get uh, the th thumbing grafter, uh, same shape but using thumbium. And industrial grafter. Yeah. I don't fully remember how these things work, but over here I've got uh, some beehive set up affecting these trees. I know some of these leaves are different, and let's see, forestry for Minecraft, species unknown. Red spruce sapling. So I've still got some uh, some of this stuff on me, and got some imperials over here. Ooh, I will snag that for now. And a trealizer. So a lot like the bees, that jumps in there. Red spruce and apple oak. Um, saplings average, faster, small, blah blah blah. So, no fruits, but, and coming in, attacking this one tree, I can get up to five with one grafter. So I'm probably going to make the uh, thomium grafter, maybe one of the, uh, Maybe make the industrial grafter, see if that thing works. Um, power module. Doesn't look all that hard. Yeah, let's let's jump over there and take a look at this thing. Let's see. So I want that thing, which means I need to make this, which that's it. I saw that it needs one of these. So uh, let's make a couple of them, just in case, and I'm doing it now. All right, back, and some expensive diamonds. How many diamonds do I have? 800 and not enough. So it looks like it needs power. I'm crossing my fingers on this one. Excellent. And this. Oh! It uses a bunch of the charges at once, but... Tore down the entire top of the tree. And there goes most of the rest of it. So that's coming off from just one tree. And I'm, uh, full. Wow, that's a lot. I definitely want to get that thing going. Um, so yeah, I'm going to definitely start trying to step up some uh, tree works. And get my tree breeding going. 
I remember it being very tedious and painful. Because unlike the bees where you've got a generation and you're done, it seemed like it was a... Well, you've got the generation of uh, trees that you're working with, but you've also got the uh, downfall that you have to wait for the branches themselves to do their thing. So some of these things are going to be good, and I there's a, a purple wood that I'm hoping I can get out of this stuff. And it's dead. But, I mean, really? Instead of picking up five at a time? Yeah. I like that thing. I need filing cabinets over here now. Um, let's see, one other th or one of the things I know I did... You guys in there. Um, used to have a tree here. I swapped it out for. Well, the trunk is still there. Uh, changed its top. Just a fairly simple uh, relay. Get a charge, put it to a delay, and then fire back. And it rains, rains, rains. Rains so much I can't hold them all. And I get a replant. But yeah, that's kind of where things are. Um, I mentioned that I've just been real busy. Uh, got a couple of side projects that I'm working on. Um, Still trying to study for a big exam coming up in the month from now, or almost a month from now. Um, got stuff going on with my church. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy how fast life can get overwhelmingly busy, but it's also real fun as to when it does, and just the things that can be going on. I enjoy playing Minecraft. Minecraft. Let's just watch uh, some videos from the Minecraft Minecraft uh, marathon. I believe it's kids' plays that they were uh, raising money for. And good job, guys even though you'll probably never see this video, but hey. Um, I definitely respect the uh, whole trying to go out there and help the kids. So, overall, uh, come back out with a good number of magic beans. And I am... Was there anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One other thing. You're noisy. Actually, well, yeah, that's noisy. One other thing I created was this thing. So, get all these nice stones here. Go through digging them out. And did that one just change on me? But now I don't want to go back and fill them all in. That just seems like a annoyingly tedious task. Well, simple. Get the system primed and run. Need to get it so that it, the button produces a double pulse, but 
stacks this row, stacks that row, stacks the next, stacks the next, stacks the next. And in time, I get more uh, mossy stone. Not using it for anything really, but it's always nice to know that it's there. And get all my beans off of me. I'll dump the royal jelly in there. See if I've got a spot for you. Maybe you can go there. Uh, hopefully. But, yeah. I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, I know my timer went off a little while ago. And... Thanks for watching. Sorry about missing a few things at this... Where'd you come from? I understand where the cat came from, or the ocelot came from. But it shouldn't have been dark enough for you. Yeah. Let's see, was there anything else that could be... Before I truly call off, I'll get away from that. Um, click here to start. Bees. Open. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck there. Um, really, I just need to start working more diligently on some of that stuff. Uh, need to get some more of this stuff going. Um, need to just make a binding agent and catalyst and go at it um, for the hoarding. Um, yeah. I think that's a wood that I need. So I definitely need to find trees. Uh, candles I can probably get. Uh, the wool. Where's the wool? I thought there was wool. Yeah. Uh, Ten thousand. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a, a good long process. Um, congealed blue slimes. I'm... That's. I mean, in all, it's just time. Open. How many. I've got a. I think just a barrel full of it. Of ice. Redstone furnace, induction smelter, glacial precipitator. So I've got that dumping into a barrel on the back side. Which can hold quite a bit of stuff. So, and manual submit, 12%. So I just need to set up or spend some time doing that. Um, definitely got the ability to do it, just don't want to do that to y'all. Um, I think I can do that. What was... Alamite. I have steel. Yeah? What else? Steel, brass, aluminum, tin, bronze. So you, tin. I'm going to cut this out and pull these things.
if I remember it. Gold. Iron. Gold, iron, copper. Copper. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I think I can go manual submit. Ah, oh, those needed stacks. And that needs 16. Okay, so it is going to take me a little bit. Ah, darn alamite. Um, soul sand. How was that one not completed? Soul sand and claim reward. Yay. Where's a better block? Why will the annoying stuff always allow itself to be placed where you don't want it? Alright. So now that soul sand's leading to 10,000 soul sand. How's this thing doing? It's doing. They're doing. Um, I can probably upgrade the power system on this thing. But anyways, so my hearts are now up to uh, two yellows. Uh, if B Technologies come along, I can start doing some tree work. And probably by the time I actually get into the stuff for the trees, it's going to be quite a ways up. You can see I've got a little bit of a jungle biome with some ocelots. Um, the death in my house was me testing to see where my food what my food does do I go into instant starvation or was it instant death I learned the instant death part and perished um, blah. but I want to thank you for watching and until next time keep smiling Thank you.